In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can create hundreds and hundreds of YouTube shorts using ChatGPT and Canva, and it's going to take you literally minutes. And after that, I'm going to show you guys how you can put these on autopilot so that they automatically post for you on your behalf without you ever having to click another button. So after this video, you're going to have hundreds of pieces of content that are automatically going to post to your YouTube channel. So let's get into it. So I'm not trying to waste your time, but if you want to like and subscribe, that would be cool of you. So let me show you what I did. Yesterday I was working on this and I was able to create 200 YouTube shorts in a matter of a couple of minutes. And here they all are, which is wild. And they all have unique information and helpful talking points. Over the years, I've been able to grow a large audience on TikTok and even more on Instagram using short form video content. And these short videos that have high impact, really educational and valuable information get great engagement. People just kind of want to get to the point. And if you're going to deliver that in an easy to consume way, you're going to get views. So as you can see here, this is what the format we are going to be creating is we're going to be creating high impact educational little pieces of content and it's just going to be placed over a b-roll footage so this footage could be you sitting at your desk typing you reading a book you walking on a beach it doesn't really matter it should be applicable to your niche and help build your personal brand but the video itself can be extremely simple so i've created a video you'll see it later on it's just me sitting here at this desk essentially just doing this so the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need chat GPT to come up with all of this high value impact content. So what we're going to do is use a prompt that I've created and I've got it down here in the description for us. So as you can see, this is what our prompt is going to look like. We're going to tell it what its job is. So you're the world's best script writer for educational short. You could put for motivational YouTube shorts or for funny YouTube shorts, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Then we tell it what it has to do for us. So your task is to help create YouTube shorts for my financial literacy channel. I'm just using financial literacy as an example for this video, but you could change this to your specific category or your niche. So financial literacy, motherhood, fitness, anything you want, you would just change out the prompt to be specific to your channel. Um, and then we're going to specifically focus on simple financial tips for people under 45 who are dealing with the rising cost of living. So this is where we're going to specify who our target audience is and what we're trying to help them with ultimately. And then it gets down to, we're going to discuss the pain point. We're we're going to talk about a solution and the takeaway is going to be something that is informative and empowering for the viewer. So remember, these videos are not going to be usable if you're not actually delivering high impact educational content. We want to make sure that it understands that this script has to have three specific parts and you're going to see why later. Um, and then down here, we're going to give it a general example and then we want to give it the output format. So remember, we have to be creative, make each script unique, ensure the advice is practical and resonates with people under 45 and we only want it to give us 10 scripts at a time. Now you might be like, Hey, Aaron, you said we're going to be creating like hundreds of videos. So wouldn't you need like hundreds of scripts? And the answer is, yeah, you do. But ChatGPT kind of gets sloppy after 10. So I find that it gets repetitive and the output isn't as good. I think it's probably like a memory thing. I don't know. I don't work down at OpenAI. but if you give it 10 at a time and then you reprompt it, you're going to get better results than if you tried to ask it for 50 or a hundred at a time. Copy and paste this prompt and put it into ChatGPT and see what it gives you as an output. Now, if we've done this correctly, it's going to populate a really nice chart for us. So let's go see. So we're going to copy and paste and we're going to hit enter and ChatGPT should get to work for us. So here it goes. It's got our big idea, our pain point. So cutting food expenses. Remember, we're doing financial literacy for people who are struggling with the cost of living. So all of these look like really great and relevant topics that we could use in our business. So now you can see here ChatGPT is done doing its work for us and we're simply just going to copy and paste this chart and we're going to go over into Google and we're going to put it into our spreadsheet. So paste. So we've already got 16 different unique topics for our content that we're going to be creating. So here's where it can get a little bit tedious, but not really. Um, all you have to do is prompt it to keep going. So I just say more. So I just repeated that process over and over again until I got to a desired number of videos. 
videos I wanted to make. So as you can see here, I have over 200. This was just a matter of telling Chachi over and over to reprompt itself more, 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 more. And it gave us all of these ideas. So next we're going to go into our Canva and you are going to need Canva Pro to be able to accomplish this, but I think it's $16 a month. And most people that run a business or create content already pay it. So you're going to go to create a design and in here, you're going to look up YouTube shorts. So in here, you're going to be able to find like a ton of different templates that are already done for you. And you might like some of these, but just to keep it simple for this video, I'm just going to use a B roll footage of myself at my desk. So I have under here videos. We're going to use this one. It's just me typing. So then you're going to double click. You're going to set the video as the background. You can scrub through it. You can shorten it. You can long make it longer. Um, and we're going to put some text on it. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose a piece of text that I think looks good. I like this one. Can't read it though. So we're going to change it white. And then you're going to add a couple different parts to your video. So remember we were doing three parts in our prompt. You're going to want to reflect that in your video. So I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to do it again. So we have a title. I'm going to rename this. This is the big idea. And then here I'm going to use the other font and it'll be part. And here I'm going to part and down here, part three. Perfect. So then you're going to want to double click it and show element timing because you don't want all of these to show up at the exact same time. It'll be difficult for the viewer to read them. 14 seconds is a little bit long for a short video. Maybe 10 would be better so that we can retain viewers longer. Play with this so that your video looks good to you. You have your idea. We got part one. Great. And then we have part two popping up. Great. And part three. So we're going to make sure that these are all in an appropriate area. So here's where um, it gets really cool. So you're going to go down here and there's a button that says bulk create. So bulk create is going to ask you to enter the data manually or upload the data. I'm going to enter it manually. I'm just going to go into my YouTube short idea. I'm going to copy them all and I'm going to paste them. So now we have our big idea. We have part one, part two, and part three. So now to get all the data that ChatGPT just put together for you into your content, you're going to click on your big idea, connect the data, select big idea. Then you're going to click on part one and connect the data part one and so on. You're going to do this for every part of your video, connect the data part two. Then all you have to do is hit continue. Here's all of the topics that we imported from our ChatGPT chart and it's going to create all of your designs. I only have 24, but this could be hundreds if you want. And it literally took a second guys. And here are all of our shorts. Cool. So grocery bills are blah, blah, blah. That looks good. I'd like to maybe move them down a little bit. So you can just continuously tweak these until they suit your preference and they look good together because you know, short form video content um, has music associated with it. So if you want to add music to this, um, it's really, really easy. You just simply go down here to audio. There are a ton of different music you can use. I like to just listen to whatever song I like and we can pull it over and plop it on. And now there is music. I haven't listened to this. Maybe it's time. Yeah, that's, not, that's not bad at all. Okay. So after we tweak these a little bit, we can then upload them. Um, so what you're going to want to do is click share. You're going to want to go here to download and you're going to make sure that you click this. It's really important because you want them to all download as a separate file. And this is going to be important when we get to the next step, which is programming them into your make.com to auto post for you. So we're going to download them and then we're going to upload them all to our Dropbox file. After tweaking them all and making sure they all uploaded to my Dropbox file, here they all are. Now you could stop here because you have hundreds of pieces of content, like I promised at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to show you a step further, which is using make.com to automatically post them all because I don't know about you, but I would much rather not have to individually post hundreds of videos. So if you're not familiar with make, Com. This is a platform that allows you to do automations on the internet. So you can string together a couple different platforms through make.com so that it'll perform actions on the internet for you automatically. It's really awesome and it's free to use. And I've linked it here in my description. If you've never tried it, I highly suggest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to create a new scenario. I'm going to make myself smaller because I'm huge. Okay. 
There we go. So here we're going to use, um, um, these are called modules. So you're going to want to choose the repeater module. So repeater module is going to allow you to repeat an action. The repeater module is basically going to go through the videos one by one and repeat an action. So we're going to start at one. I was able to create 201 pieces of content. So maybe you created 50. I don't know. Just input the amount of videos that you created in the last step in Canva. Then we're going to hit OK. Next, we're going to put a Dropbox module. So our Dropbox is where we're storing all of that content. So this is going to tell the workflow or or the scenario where to go get that content before they can post it. So click download a file and you can see here my Dropbox is connected. If you've never connected yours, it's really easy Just click add and then give it authorization. Next, you're going to select a file. You're going to click here and it should pre-populate your Dropbox files. And then here you're going to select which video to post. Now we don't want to post video 34 over and over and over again. And if we leave it just like like this that is exactly what our repeater will do which is why you have to turn on map which will allow you to edit it here down here you can see this is our repeater module see how they're both green if I can get there there see how it's green so when you look in here it's showing all of the functions of the repeater module and this I right here is basically a placeholder so instead of posting video 34 over and over and over again we're just going to put our I here which basically gives it the prompt to repeat video one video two video three video four all the way up until 201 or however many videos you made in the last step Great, so now we have to attach our YouTube to it. And same thing, if you've never attached your YouTube channel to your make.com account, really easy. You just go through a couple clicks and you're good to go. So you can see here that my YouTube is attached to my make.com account. And if you haven't connected yours before, it's just the same process. You would simply hit add and then give it authorization and your make.com will be attached to your YouTube channel so that you can post there. So the next thing that we're gonna have to put in is a title for our videos. Now, if you wanna create a unique title for every single individual individual video, that's totally possible. But before your YouTube module, you would have to put in a ChatGPT module that is going to be prompted to create a unique title for every single video. And this would definitely be helpful for the YouTube algorithm to maybe pick up your videos a little bit better. But for the simplicity of this workflow, we're going to show you that in another video later on. So down here, we're going to select Dropbox, download the file. We're going to select educational content. We're going to have to make sure that this is private. And the reason it has to stay private is because you don't want to publish all of your content all at once. So ultimately what we're trying to accomplish with this make.com scenario is we're going to take all the videos that we made and we're going to schedule them all to our YouTube. And now we don't want them to schedule and post all of them right now because that would be crazy. So our publish at is going to have to look like this. Now, this might look a little complicated, so I'm gonna walk you through what each one means. So if we click in our publish at, you're gonna have a calendar function right here. Under the calendar, you're gonna be able to see add days. So we wanna add days from now. So add days from now. And then this is going to be under our star, which brings us back to our repeater module. So this is indicating that we are going to want to post video one, video two, video three, video four, etc. And then you have your star function here, which basically means multiply. And you can find that down here. So multiply, add days from now, this video, and we want to post it in three days from now, or five days from now, or seven days from now, or 30 days from now. So if you wanna post once a month, put 30. If you wanna post once a week, put seven. It really depends on your goals, but do remember that this content that we created is fairly repetitive. So I would weave it into your content strategy um, in between other pieces of short form video content. You don't want to post the exact same style of video over and over and over again, back to back to back. So I would put this maybe at every 10 days. So in between these videos, you're going to have other pieces of short form video content that you have created. So great. Then down here, we're going to have our description, 
you can put this as whatever you want, call outs to your social media, et cetera. This is just what I have put. And is this video made for kids? We always have to clarify that it is not. And that is it. So if we have done this correctly, once we hit our run, once we hit our run once button, it is going to find all the videos we just made in Canva, and then it's gonna automatically post them. So I'm gonna hit run once, and then we're gonna check on my YouTube to make sure they scheduled. Okay, so here are all of my shorts that I have scheduled in the future and as we're going in you can see here is the piece of content that we just made and a few days later there's another one and here's a few days later there's another one and if you scroll all the way up to the top after I have finished posting all of my regular scheduled programming we have one that is posted March 13th March 16th March 19th pardon me and so on so this happened all automatically I scheduled content all the way up until April 18th so that's pretty remarkable if you ask me and it didn't take us very long to do that at all. Now I've shown you how you can create hundreds of YouTube short videos using Canva and ChatGPT in just a few minutes. And I even took it a step further and I showed you how you can get make.com to post and schedule all of that content for you in seconds. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave me a comment if you did or if you're stuck somewhere, I'll try to help you out. And of course, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.